Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid that consists of uh, this rectangle and this uh, right triangle. And moreover, the area of this rectangle has been given to us as 768 square units. And uh, the area of this right triangle is uh, 120 square units. And furthermore, one of the side lengths of this uh, trapezoid has been given to us as 42 units and now we are going to calculate the rest of these side lengths this one this one and this one please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first thing we are going to do let me go ahead and label the side length, I'm gonna call this height uh, h. Since we are dealing with this rectangle, then this uh, height is going to be h as well. Let me go ahead and call this side uh, a, and uh, this side I am going to call x. And we know that this whole side length is 42 units, so therefore, this uh, side length of this rectangle is going to be 42 minus uh, this uh, x. So therefore this side length is 42 minus x and since we are dealing with this rectangle so this side length and this side length is going to be equal so this side length uh, could be written as 42 minus uh, x so therefore i have replaced this side length uh, a by 42 minus x and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle and let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base uh, times height in our case our base is x and height is uh, h so there therefore we can write area of this uh, yellow triangle as a half time base in our case is x times height is h and we know that the area has been given to us as 120 so therefore i'm going to replace this area by 120 equals to a half times x h let's multiply both sides by 2 i'm going to multiply this side by 2 and I'm going to multiply this side by 2 as well. And here we can see this 2 and 2 cancel each other out. 2 times 120 is going to become 240. So therefore I can write x times h equal to 240. Let me call this as our equation number 1 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, green rectangle and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area equals to length times width in our case our dimensions are h and 42 minus x so therefore the area of this green rectangle is going to be equal to i'm going to multiply these h times 42 minus x so let me go ahead and write down h times 42 minus x and we know that the area of this green rectangle has been given to us as 768 i'm going to replace it over here so therefore i'm going to write down 768 equal to let's go ahead and distribute this thing that is going to give us 42 h minus x times h and now we know that our x h value is 240 from this equation one i am going to replace uh, this x h by 240 so therefore i can write 768 equal to 42 h minus 240 Let's go ahead and add 240 on both sides. This is gone. So we simply ended up with a 42H equal to 10 oh 
8. Let's divide both sides by 42. So therefore, our h value turns out to be 24 units. Therefore, this h turns out to be 24 units and this h is 24 units as well. And now let's go ahead and substitute this h equals to 24 value in this equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, we got this one h is 24 times x equals to 240. Let's divide both sides by 24. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 10 units. So therefore, I'm going to replace this x by 10 units. And here, this x by 10. And here, x by 10 as well. So therefore, 42 minus 10 is going to give us 32 units and finally now we are going to calculate this side length and now let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, once again and we know that this is a right uh, triangle therefore we are going to use the pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg as uh, c i'm going to call this side a and this side I'm going to call B. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is 10. So this is going to be 10 square. B in our case is 24 whole square equal to C square. 10 square is 100 and 24 square is 576 equal to C square. So therefore C square is going to give us 676. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. And now this square and square root they undo each other. So C turns out to be equal to 26. And we are going to keep the positive sign of 26 since the length is always a positive. Therefore our this side length C turns out to be 26 units. So therefore after all the calculations and manipulations our this side turns out to be 32 units and our this side length turns out to be 24 units and this side length turns out to be 26 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.